What is this thing at an antique auction? Around 10.5 inches tall and 5.5 inches wide. Made of metal, heavy and sturdy, and old, probably from the 1800s. I tried to Google it, but didn't find anything. My first guess was maybe a wooden stamp holder, and it also looks like an incense holder. Does anyone know what it is or what it's for? It's a Victorian cast iron tread spool holder with a pin cushion on top, missing the pin shafts, made from circa 1880. The spools are held in place by six long pins with handles and six short that pass through both tiers to support the spools and can be removed to change them. I'm staying in a hotel in Amsterdam and our suite is in the attic of a converted townhouse. It had this large wooden wheel with unusual handmade metal Vs on it and it spins freely. What is this thing for? It's for moving heavy stuff. The large wheel functions as a pulley. A long rope goes all the way around and down to the floor below. A second rope would then wrap around the round shaft attached to a heavy item. Sometimes there is a hole bored through this shaft or axle to anchor a knotted or tied rope. The big wheel gives a large mechanical advantage for lifting heavy items. In the 1700s, Amsterdam homeowners were taxed based on the width of their houses or businesses. This caused buildings to be as narrow as possible. Instead, the buildings became taller and they needed to be able to move goods and supplies up and down the building. What is this compass thing? It's made with dark wood and has two people engraved, appearing to have three or more arms each. It weighs 180 grams and feels very sleek and fitting neatly in the palm of my hand. Inside, there's a compass with a N and S with engravings circulating it. I'm not sure on its age or origin, nor the culture it's representing. It's very pretty and I've owned it for upwards of a decade, with no idea where it came from or how it came into my possession. I've done a Google search online, but I can't find any similar things. None of them entirely match the description of this neat little box. Any ideas? It's an antique Chinese zodiac calendar compass with astrological feng shui symbols from the late 19th century. These tools were created in ancient China so the peasants would understand the astrology practiced by their emperor. What is this silver cylinder with a strainer and a lid found in a thrift store at Myrtle Beach, South Carolina? We were shopping in a Habitat for Humanity restore with my wife and found this. It felt cheaply made and the only thing I could come up with was maybe tea or coffee. It seems like the metal would be too hot to handle though, so probably not. Does anyone know what this thing actually is? It's an Art Deco cocktail shaker, patented August 7th, 1934, by Howard F. Reichenbach of Waterbury, Connecticut, a signer to the Chase Companies Incorporated. The object is to produce a shaker of superior convenience, appearance, and effectiveness, constructed with particular reference to preventing the escape of any fluid, no matter how violently it is shaken. What is this heavy metal tube with a plunger that is broken off found on a hotel wall in Chefchaouen, Morocco? It appears to have Berber markings on it with a snapped off handle or plunger. The small end appears to be sealed, but there is a small gap around the third ring wrapping the end, which has the fitting extension that the smaller arm fits into for some reason. Any guidance would be greatly appreciated. It's a 19th century cylindrical door lock. It's crafted out of thick steel with a handmade wrought steel key that turns the threaded locking mechanism. What are these perfect rows of mystery objects off the beaches of Normandy? I am guessing they are some kind of traps for fish or crustaceans. I looked up Normandy beaches traps and it only showed things from D-Day. Any ideas? They are actually oyster farm beds. The Houtre Disigny André Jal and Axel Taillepied, a label you can see on your screenshot, is one of multiple oyster farm companies in that little group of buildings. The Maison Taillepied, Huitre La Royale Disigny is another oyster farm in the group of buildings. You can see that building while watching a video of the oyster bed. 
What is this strange tall pipe-like item that had water in the part where tobacco would go, found in an upstate New York thrift store? Maybe three inches tall, with no writing on it either, just a price tag. The store owner didn't know what it was. It seemed to be made out of glass with a metal covering on top. Any ideas? It's a 1970s Avon tobacco pipe cologne bottle. Avon Cosmetics used to do stuff like that all the time. The brown glass base is attached to a plastic pipe stem shaped twist off lid. The base features two eagles with stars and decorations and silver plastic top. I'm not sure what fragrance is contained within. I collected them at one point, but man, do they smell bad after all these years, if they ever smelled good in the first place. What are these things I found in North Holland dunes near the water treatment facility? Some sort of like a rake, but very flexible metal slats. Where these were wasn't open for the public, so it's probably for the people who monitor the dunes. I was wondering what these could be used for. Any ideas? Those are fire flappers, also called a swatter or a beater. They are designed for extinguishing minor fires in rural areas such as heaths. A flapper is built with a long handle and a series of lamellae, which allows firefighters to stand well back from the fire. The lamellae are constructed in either rubber or steel, though practically any other fire-resistant material could be used. What is this metal oval locking metal cooking apparatus with a spike? I just moved into an old house and found this in the drawer under the oven. Around four inches tall by four inches wide, and 7.5 inches long. It's pretty robust and has that locking mechanism to keep it closed. I consider myself pretty well versed on cooking implements, but I'm lost. I asked some friends and they have no idea about this either. Google is not helpful as well. Does anyone have a clue what this could be? Please let us know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.